Hello, what's happening? You know what? I had a little discussion. This is the Nikkor 200mm F4, which many of you have bought. And um, you see, nobody really researches stuff like this, only except for lens genius like me. I said months ago that this lens is radioactive. And some people say, oh, no, 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 I looked at a list of radioactive Nikkors. That lens isn't radioactive. Well, you can kiss it right back here because I'm right. Uh, let's see. Let's adjust the gain a little bit. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Not very radioactive, but it is a radioactive lens. This is the Nikkor 200mm f4. It's not as radioactive as this other lens over here, which is an old Kodak lens, but it still has uh, radioactive uh, uh, thorium in it. So here's a really radioactive one. This is still a radioactive lens. These are uh, 1940s uranite marbles, which are uh, they have a uh, uranium in them. That's why they have that yellowish color. These are uranite marbles. These are radioactive. They're actually farting out helium nuclei. That's what I say. Uh, alpha emission. They're uh, farting out helium nuclei. These uranite marbles are about as radioactive as this Nikkor 200mm f4 is. People say, oh no, that lens, that lens isn't radioactive, no. I was like, yeah it is, no. I was like, yeah it is. It is radioactive. It's not heavily radioactive. Is it an issue? No, unless you plan on sticking the lens up to your eyeball for extended periods of time. So, not really, no. But it is still radioactive.